What you need is light weights, or if you don't have any weights, cans, or I'm using I'm going to use a bag of beans. So we're going to start with the upper body series, and then we'll move on to the lower bodies. So um, let's get started. Thanks for joining me. So warming up, step wide, sink your hips. Make sure you're next to a chair or a steady surface. Beginners, you're gonna go about halfway down. And more advanced are gonna go a little bit further around. Down, we're gonna inhale up, reaching all the way up. Big inhale and then exhale down. Good, inhale up again. Exhale down. One more, inhale up. Exhale down, hold it here and just give me like eight pulses. You can have your hands on your hips. You can have your hands over your head. You can have your hands in ballet arms. And then hold it down right here. Reach those arms up if you haven't yet. Clasp the fingertips, reach them all the way to the ceiling. Take it over to the right. We're gonna do a big body circle. Then fold forward and up and over around. And let's do the other side. Reach and then over and around and then come up. You always want to come up, extend that spine first before you make a movement. Bring your hands down, heel toe your hips, your feet till their hips distance apart, hands on your shoulders. This is going to look weird, but it's a really great warm up. You're going to circle your arms back, just getting circulation in the shoulders. Now you're going to, you can, you're going to pivot to the heels, to the toes to the heels, to the toes, while you're doing this. And then opposite direction. This is um, a great little yoga warm up. <clears throat> and two, and one. Okay, you guys are set. We're gonna get started with arm series. So head over to your countertop. Um, if you don't have a countertop, you can use your, a wall, just make sure your hands are clean so you don't leave fingerprints on your wall. If you have a bar, great. You're gonna zip up the belly, take those shoulder blades down your back, bring your arms forward. They can be up here on a wall and you're just gonna step back right here and we're gonna take it down really slow, four counts. Before you move, you can come up onto your toes. I want you to marry your butt cheeks together, drive your shoulder blades down your back and into what would be like a pocket on your left side and your right side. Pull the belly button in like you're hugging the rib cage in and take it down for four, three, two, one. Press it back. Lower down for four, three, two, one. Take it back up for four, three, two, one. We're gonna take it down for two counts and up two counts. We're gonna do this four times. Down, two, up, two, low, two, up. This is three, down, up. This is four, down, up. And now eight singles. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Depending on your expertise, you might step your feet further away from the wall or the, or the counter. And then we're gonna hold it down right here. Big inhale and then little down an inch, then a little up an inch. Just little movements. Super slow, so you're using no momentum. You keep hugging that belly in to the spine. So just purposeful movements down and up and down, hold it all the way up. We're gonna take this up four counts. Up, two, three, four. This is our second set. Lower down, two, three, four. It's up, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. It's up, two, down, two. Three more. Down, two, up, down, up, two, down, now singles, press it all the way up. So check out your wrists. Make sure 
they are not hyperflexing. They're not moving too much. They're staying really stationary. And after eight, you're gonna hold it down again. And back to down an inch and up an inch. We're gonna do this eight times. Five, four, three, two, one. Press it all the way back and stretch back. Reach all the way back. Your, your hips are gonna go back to the um, middle of the room and then slowly come back up. So you have your chest warmed up a little bit. You can always do one more set. We're gonna save the rest of the push-ups for when we go down to the floor. So the circulation should be nice in your shoulders. Reach back around and stretch back. If you have um, water close by, great. I have Kleenex and a water close by. Big inhale and then exhale. So now is where I want you to grab your small weights or your bag of beans. And if you're a beginner, you don't need any weights whatsoever. Bag of beans. That big stance that we had in the warm up, we're going to go back and revisit this. So wide stance, your toes are 45 degrees. They're going to sink down. Just double check to make sure your knees are tracking over your toes. You're going to do ballet arms. So you're going to reach these arms up, 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 and then bring those weights together and then bring them out here. Elbows are wide. Like I said, no weights. I have, these are one pound weights or you're going to have two pound weights. So lower your shoulders, sink your hips. We're going to open up and then close for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're going to hold these arms out on one and just little bitty lifts right here. Little bitty lifts. 16. So we have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn your palms down. Squeeze these shoulder blades back behind. Find those pockets again. Take an extra second to squeeze and tuck those shoulder blades behind you and then come forward. So it's a squeeze, forward, squeeze, forward. We're doing this eight times. So we have four more to go. It's four, it's three, it's two. Hold it here on one. So your elbows are nice and wide. They're making a 90 degree angle with your forearms. We're gonna raise this up and down, up. And down. So you're raising it up, lowering it down, back down. Again, this is for eight, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to hold it right here and just little bitty presses up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Again, it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach it all the way up. That's our first set. Bring them back down in front of you. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see what my posture is like. Right here, we're going to open, open, and close. Open, open. So you always want to think your head stacks over your shoulders. Your shoulders are over your hips. Elbows are high, but the shoulders are low away from your ears. So we're doing eight of these. So this is three more two on one we're going to hold it out in front make sure your elbows are soft and you're just going to do little bitty shakes so we do 16 of these let's do eight seven six five four three two one eight seven six five three two one turn those palms down squeeze those shoulder blades behind you and then bring them forward to tap So those abs are really working the entire time of this sequence. And we're doing this eight times. So we have three, back, tap, two, squeeze back. One, back, my beans are, I need to readjust my beans. And we're gonna open, then close. Open and close. Raising up and down. 
And you can, if you're advanced, sink down a little bit lower. And it's five, four, three, two, hold it. Up right here and little bitty pulses. Six, five. Again, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reach it all the way up. And our third and final set. I'll face you back. Come a little lower for advanced. Raise up onto those toes. And let's open, open, close, close. If you're a beginner, might want to drop those weights and just continue this movement. So we're eight of these, four more. It's three. It's two, it's one. Hold them out in front of you. I like to call the salt and pepper shaker. So 16, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn the palms down, squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Keep those elbows up nice and high and tap, squeeze. So I want you to engage those postural muscles, the posterior chain behind your back, right here, in your back. Squeeze, just waking them up, squeeze. Keeping the belly pulled in. We're doing eight of these. We have two more left. It's one, and now open and close, open and close. This is three, it's four, close. It's five, it's six, seven, eight. Pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, it's eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Reach it all the way up and then squeeze these elbows behind you. Bring those elbows right into your uh, waist. Heel toe in. Feet are hip distance apart and you're going to hinge forward about 45 degrees. Between 45, this is what 45 degrees look like, and 90. So this is 90, 45. Standing up right here. We're going to get into those posterior delts. So bring those weights together and out, together and out, together and out, and out. Seven. Hold it out on eight and pulse it back for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now squeeze those elbows in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, it's together and open. Together and open for six more. Five. Advanced. You know, I want you to come up on your, to your toes. Two. One, hold it open and just pulse back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. This is a press, press, lift and squeeze. Press, press, squeeze. Press, press, squeeze. A lift, lift, squeeze behind you. Five, squeeze, six, squeeze, seven, pulse, squeeze, eight, pulse, squeeze. We'll hold it right there. Maybe hinge forward one more inch, our last set. Together and open, together and open. Six, it's five, it's four, three, two, one, hold it here, press back, little pulses back. And now we're gonna do one more thing, we're squeezing, squeeze first, eight, seven, six, five, and putting those three things together, lift and a lift and a squeeze, hold, lift, lift, squeeze, hold, lift, lift, squeeze, hold, lift, lift, squeeze, four, squeeze, five, up, squeeze, six, up, squeeze, just going to eight, and eight right here. Bring those weights down. So now you're still at that same little degree hinge. We're gonna squeeze those weights back behind you. For this one, you don't need any weights at all. You can just use your tricep muscles just to reach back, hold it here, and squeeze. So you're straightening those arms. And it's lift, 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 lift. So really no bend in the elbows. I don't know if you can see, I'm just lifting. My palms are flat. Four, three, two, 
one, and then reach my palms back, my fingertips back, and then pretend you're squeezing a playground ball. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, then lift up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift it up, squeeze this ball, lift it up, squeeze this imaginary ball. Three, lift up for four, lift and squeeze five, lift, squeeze six, lift, squeeze seven, lift, squeeze eight. Now this is the one we're gonna do a little bend. Soften and extend, soften and extend, soften, extend. So you really don't need any equipment here. If you don't have a mat, just use a big beach towel, squeeze. Squeeze, soften, extend, soften, extend. Two and one, hold it back right here. So for advance, you're gonna come back up onto those toes and hinge forward and work on your balance. Everybody else, stay flat-footed. Just reach back, engage the back of those arms. Reach, 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 squeeze those shoulders behind you. And it's a lift, 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 lift for five, six, seven, hold it at eight, just squeeze eight, squeeze seven, squeeze six, five, four, three, two, one, squeeze, lift, squeeze, lift, squeeze and lift. It's a little combo, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, six, squeeze, lift, seven, eight, hold it back right here, just soften, extend, soften, extend, soften, extend. Tiny bend and stretch, just a tiny bend and stretch. We'll do this eight times. This is our last set right here. Just lift and squeeze. Drag those shoulder blades down your back. Create that long line again in between your ear and your shoulder. Reach, extend, straighten those arms. Since this is the last set for the triceps, really take a second to engage and find them, those back of the arm muscles. Right here, we're lifting, lifting, lifting. For five, four, three, two, hold it here on one, squeeze it eight, squeeze seven, squeeze six, five, four, three, two, and it's a squeeze and a lift, squeeze and a lift, squeeze, look how straight my arms are. Hardly bending at all in the elbow, squeeze four, lift, Squeeze three, lift, squeeze two, lift. One right here, just bend and extend. Take a second to really pull those belly abdominal muscles in. You're squeezing, bend and stretch and bend and stretch. It's four, it's a three, it's a two, it's a one. Hold it here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way up, stretch those arms the back of the arms by just raising it up and reach down behind you like you're trying to work a necklace. And then reach up and then down. So grab a drink of water. If you're me, blow your nose with these allergies. And we're gonna start standing series for thighs. So for beginners, you find your counter, bring your left leg forward, right leg behind your hip. It's real important when we're doing these mo modified lunges or lunges, you take care of taking care of your knees. And we're not trying to be Cirque du Soleil athletes here. So you don't wanna have this foot directly behind your ankle of the front foot. You wanna be tracking, so your left foot's in line with your left hip, your right foot's in line with your right hip. And then we're gonna, for beginners, you're just gonna bend about two inches. Make sure that this knee is right over your ankle and this back leg is bent. Now squeeze the back leg, squeeze the front hip, and marry those butt cheeks together. Hug the belly in or press that belly button back. And here you can have your hands in prayer or you can have your hands on the bar and we're just going to take it down and up. So I only have a couple of clients who need to do this modified. So everybody else, I want you to be here. So you're still driving 
the same movement, but you're driving that knee down a little closer to the floor. And we do 16 pulses right here. So let's do eight more. It's seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now little bitty pulses. Tiny, smaller, and a little bit quicker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to take this down two counts and then up two. Hold it here, then tuck for me. Eight, seven, six. Tucking is subtle. Think about just really pressing this back butt cheek, squeezing it nice and hard and bringing it forward. Hold it there, down, two, up, two, down, two, up. Hold here, now just tuck for four, four, three, two, one. Now take it down, two, up, two, take it down and tuck for one. So now just keep this tucked the entire time. No more separate tucks, you're keeping it tucked. We're going to take this down two. You're going to hinge forward, keeping your front knee right over this ankle, and you're going to come up to a little arabesque for two counts. So it's down two, hinge forward two, down two, hinge forward. This back foot can stay on the mat, or you can lift it up. Down two, up two, down two. It's a forward shift change, weight change. Two, two more. One more. Hold it right here. And we're just going to lift this right leg behind you and then tap and up, tap and up. Drive those shoulder blades down your back for four, three, tap, two, tap, one, hold it right here, and then little bitty plies. It's a soft, imperceivable, almost bend in this knee, so you shouldn't feel anything in your leg. Reaching it back, two and one. And we're going to come back here, two counts down, two counts up and forward, two counts down, two counts up and forward, down, forward, Check out that front knee. It's not straightening. It's staying bent the entire time. Stay here and little taps with this back foot. Five, four, three, two, one. Plie for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And now we're gonna do everything together. It's a tap as you touch down and back forward. Tap and forward. It's a little bit of a rocking. Just so you're plieing and you're tapping back at the same time. Give me six more. It's five. It's four. Three, two, and one. And then come up and stretch that out. So you should feel, feel that in your front left quad. We're going to do the other side. Just a nice little stretch before we get started. So, beginners, your hands are square against this counter or this chair, and you're bringing this down. Make sure you're not on, the, on a balance beam. Your feet are directly tracking in the same direction as your hips. We're just going to take this down, 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 five, six, Seven. Beginners, you see here, more advanced, you're going to take that left leg back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Now, a little bitty pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight more. Eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here. Take it down for two. Up, hold. We're going to do that little tuck. So we're really squeezing these butt cheeks as we push them forward towards this counter, towards the chair for four, 
three, two, one. Lower down, two, up, two. Lower down, two, hold. And then just tuck for four. Three, two, one. Take it down, two, up, two. Tuck one, hold it here. So from now on, we're just gonna keep those glutes tucking forward as we're gonna take this down, two, and we're gonna come forward, two. So you don't have to take this back foot off. You can just keep it here. Just, just check out my front right knee. So take it down, two, forward, two. Low, tap, forward, two. And it's down, five, up, down, six, up, down, seven, up, down, eight. Hold right here and just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You're squeezing that butt cheek. Six, seven, hold it here on eight and a little plies for eight, seven, six, five, three, two, and one. Lower down for two, forward for two. Down, two, forward, two. Good. And then we're gonna hold it up right here on four and just squeeze eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, plie down, eight, seven, six, five, three, Two, hold it here. We're going to put everything together. We're going to tap down and plie with this front right foot. This back left foot is reaching back. So let's do eight tap backs. Seven, six, five, four, three. It's two. It's one. And come all the way up. Nicely done. So stretch out that right quad. Grab a drink. And we're we'll head on to our next thigh exercise. So we're gonna come into a wide kind of a familiar, a wide second position. Hands can be in prayer for, be, for more advanced. Hands crab on to a sturdy surface for beginners. That outside hand can be on your hip. We're gonna come down here, right here. And we're just gonna pulse down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Well, while we're pulsing, let's do eight more. Think about your posture. Get those shoulders back over your hips. Your hips Feel like there's an anchor and it's pulling you down down so think the movement is being down and then hold it here as you come up i want you to think about this energy coming from the floor through the heels through the shins through the thighs through the pelvic floor so it's all about a kegel exercise too so you're pulling everything up and into this belly button and then back down squeeze up to it's down Squeeze up, two, and down. Up, two, and hold it here. Little pulses. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper. More advanced, you're gonna to wanna to come up onto your toes. If you're intermediate or beginning, you're gonna keep, beginner, you're gonna keep your heels on the floor. Back to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna take these knees and flare them out wide. So press out, 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 out. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what this looks like. Two and one. Now we're gonna take this down three counts and then come up about an inch. So we're gonna take it down, 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 up an inch. Same concept when you come up. Really think about the energy being squeezed up through the pelvic floor and squeeze. Lower down, two, three, Squeeze, down, two, three. Squeeze up, low, two, three. Squeeze up, take it down, hold it right here. We're gonna pop that inside heel or that right heel up and a little pulses, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now flare, flare, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring that down. Lift this left leg up and lower down, 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 down. Good. Good. And take it down, two, squeeze up, lower down, two, squeeze up, lower down, two, squeeze up, lower down, two, squeeze up. So we just switched it up instead of three, we did two, just to keep things interesting. We're gonna take it down, two, and hold, and pulse that knee back, eight, seven, six. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what the final set is gonna look like. You want to have your shoulders over your hips. So this is when we're getting tired. Even beginners, I want you to see if you can bring those heels off the floor unless you have any foot issues. Feel free to also do this exercise using tennis shoes, wearing, wearing tennis shoes or supportive shoes. Let's take this down, all the way down, and let's come up three. Up, two, three. Lower down. Up, two, three. Up, two, three. So it might be a good time to have someone come look at you because even though you might think that your shoulders are over your hips, a lot of rookie mistakes are hinging forward a little bit because it's a more natural movement. But in bar, this is not about athletic or natural movements. It's about fatiguing these muscles. And so we're gonna get put in an awkward spot. Down, up, two, three. Last two, up, two, three. Good, up, two, three. Bring it all the way down and then flare those knees. Both of the knees go out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower those heels, come all the way up. And let's stretch out those quads. One more quad exercise. If you're at home and you don't have a counter or a wall um, or, a, or a bar, you can always use a wall. And we're gonna come down into chair pose. So sliding down this imaginary, or not imaginary wall, an actual wall, you're gonna be here. You're gonna raise these heels up or keep them down, but I want you to hold that for then one minute. One minute. And if you can do one minute, see if you can go down one more inch and then do another minute. So that's an alternative. Or you can do this bonus on both. I'm gonna set my timer because it's kind of important for this one. Because you don't wanna do wall sits for much longer than two or three minutes. So if you don't have a wall, um, if you do have a counter, I want you to turn around and face your counter. Zip up from the inner thighs all the way up to the midline through your belly. I want you to place lightly place your fingertips with your elbows bent on this counter. Your feet are one fist distance apart, so they're not together, but they're not hip distance either. Raise up to your highest releve. Might be a hover, or might be high. We're going to bring these knees forward while we're sliding down the imaginary wall right here imaginary wall shoulders come back and we're going to take this down an inch then up then down and up it's low it's lift it's low it's lift it's three take it down two take it down one hold right here then tuck for eight seven six five four three two and one, now take it down, two, three, four, bring it back up, two. You never ever come all the way up. You have this little area called the working zone and you wanna stay in that working zone. Same here, if you were on, this, on the wall, you don't wanna be like here, that's nice, that's not a working zone. Find these knees to be right over these ankles. Sink down these, these shoulders to where you're sitting in a chair pull it in and you can do the same tucks that we're doing at the counter two 
and one, and then taking it down and up and down and up. Just a millimeter movement. It's down, it's up. Good. If you're at the counter, we're still doing this down, it's up. We're almost finished. We're going to take it down, hold it here. We're going to take this right hip up, the left hip up. So the tricky part is to not move your ankles or your feet. It's just coming from the hips and the thighs. It's right, it's left. Now take it down for four, for three, for two, for one. Bring it up, 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 up. Lower down, 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 down. Swing it up, 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 up. Lower four, three, two, one. So you can see my legs are shaking. That is sort of the goal. So you want to take it down, hold it here. I don't know if it sounds like thunder on the microphone, but that's what it feels like. Tuck that tailbone under. Maybe you can take one hand off the counter, maybe an other, and you're going to hold it. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Nice job. Let's stretch those thighs out. So we're going to just take your left leg forward and your right leg back. Bend your left knee just slightly and reach that right foot to the floor. If you're over your counter, you can kind of hang out and hover right here. If you're not, you can be up against a wall and just press back. We're trying to get a calf stretch here. Big inhale and exhale. Then we're going to bend that back leg just slightly, come into what's a light modified lunge. Your right leg is back. You're going to reach your right arm up by your ear. Reach up, extend, creating a lot of space in your vertebrae. Sink down in that hip and then look up at the ceiling. And then the last thing is you're going to tuck that hip, move that right hip towards the surface or towards the counter or the wall, and then bring this hand over. So we're going for a deeper stretch in the leg, and it comes up into the abs. It's called the psoas. Reach up, up and over, bring it back. Straighten your back leg, straighten your front leg. Your hands are on the wall or the counter. Hinge forward, bringing your forehead forward. Big inhale here, and then you're going to exhale. Maybe come down and get a nice little stretch, making sure that this left hip stays back in alignment with your right hip. Your bellies are pulling in. Maybe you can raise up those toes, get a deeper calf stretch on the other side and then go ahead and come all the way up. Let's switch it out. Inhale, exhale, calf stretch. So the back leg is straight, the front leg is bent. Reaching that heel towards the floor. Then push yourself back, bending that back leg just a tad, raising this left arm up. Left leg back, left arm up. Reach up, up high, high, high. Look back at that ceiling a tiny bit and then take it over. Now tuck that tailbone in towards the counter surface or the wall or the bar. Good, and then bring it all the way around, straighten both legs and hinge forward over this leg. So I'm not as flexible, so I might just hang on to this countertop or the bar. Big inhale, exhale. If you're more flexible, bring your hands down. See if you can get your palms flat. Raise that right toe up for an extra calf stretch. And then come all the way up. All right, grab a drink. We're going to do our last standing series. This is going to be a glute work. So grab a drink if you need one. So glute series. So glute series. You're going to find your counter space. Stand up nice and tall. Marry your butt cheeks together. 
and you're going to hinge slightly forward. So not at a 90 degree, but about a 45 degree. Bend both of your legs. Hinge forward. We're going to take the left leg back right here. So it seems like we're going to look like we're going to work this left glute, but we're actually going to be working the standing leg. So bear with me. Pull the belly in. We have three sets. Point your left toe. Raise this leg slightly. So you can start down to the floor. Slowly raise this left leg as you squeeze the butt cheeks till you feel the catch. If you didn't feel a catch, just try it again. Maybe tuck the tailbone, squeeze the butt cheeks first, then raise, 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 till you feel like, ah, can't go anymore. That's a little catch. This muscle is now like an apple, just squeezing really nice and tight in your glute. Your standing leg is soft and bent like it was with the lunges. So right here, we're going to just isolate this left seat while we're warming up and working the standing leg, seven, six, squeeze it, five, squeeze four, squeezing this butt cheek for three, squeeze two, squeeze one. Now we're gonna bend both knees and tap this left knee behind the right and then kick it back out. But the right leg, the standing leg, the knee stays bent the whole time. We're doing eight of these. So this is five, this is six. So I call this my emoji wink, the little wink. Wink and hold it right here. Point this toe. We're going to create a little emoji smile, tracing a smile in the air behind you for eight times. So this is already five, four, three, two, one. Hold it right back here and then back to squeezes. That's one set. So they're really super short. I'll show you what it looks like from head on. You're squeezing, squeezing for four, squeeze three, squeeze two, squeeze one. We're going to take this back leg right behind this front and then kick it back. So emoji wink. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right here, trace this little smile or a smirk. Seven, six, smile, five, four, three, two, one. One, check out your shoulder alignment, squeeze them back down. Third and final set, just squeeze eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend, extend, bend, extend, emoji wink. I need four more. It's four, it's three, it's two, it's one. And trace this smile behind you, emoji smile. Keep the belly button pulled in to the spine. Your ribs are knitting in. Shoulder blades down your back for three, for two, and for one, and come all the way up. So that standing leg felt a nice little burn. Let's stretch it out before we go to the other side. Just bring it into a figure four. So it's gonna look like this right ankle is gonna come over the left knee, and you're just gonna sit back till it's appropriate stretch for you. If you have tighter hips, you're not gonna go very far. If you have a lot looser hips, you can probably come down a lot farther. Rotate that ankle around and then bring it back up. So our second set, hinge forward, pull the belly in, 45 degrees, shrug those shoulders back, bend your knees, left, right leg goes back this time. Maybe even bring those left toes off the mat. Stubbornly squeeze those postural muscles back as you knit those rib the rib cage in. Squeeze the butt cheeks together. Marry them together. Slowly lift this right leg up till you feel that catch. Hold here and it's squeeze, 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 squeeze. We're going for eight. So we have four more. Four, three, two, one. Emoji wink. Knee back. Knee directly behind that left knee. Bend both knees, just straighten the right. Bend both knees, straighten the right. For four, for three, for two, for one. Hold it back and we're gonna trace that smile behind you. The emoji smile. I need four more smiles. It's three, it's two, 
it's one. Hold it here and just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeezing and isolating this right butt cheek. There's still that bend in your left thigh, left knee. Two, one. Here we go. Emoji wink. Reach back. Emoji wink. Back. So the left knee will start to straighten, but you have to make a conscious effort to keep it bent the whole time. And it's four, reach back. It's three, reach back. It's two, it's one, reach it back, hold it here, trace that smile. This is number two, so we just have one more set after this. So we have eight smiles, we have four more to go. Four, it's three, it's two, it's one, last set, just squeeze the right butt cheek for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, emoji wink, emoji wink, six, five, four, hang in there, three, it's two, it's one right here, just trace the smile for eight, it's seven, it's six, five, four, three, two, and one, and done. Now let's stretch that out. So you probably feel it in both hips, but let's stretch out that left one first. So figure four, cross this left ankle over the right and hinge forward until you feel that release in your left glute. And then come all the way up. All right, finish with our standing series. I'll meet you on the mat in just a second. Thanks. Now our seated lying down on the floor series. So we're gonna finish off with what we started at the wall or the counter and that's our push-ups. So if you cannot do any more push-ups and you're spent, then you stop. This is just for the advance, and we're gonna do three different types of push-ups. First, we're gonna start with um, an asymmetric load. So we're gonna have our right arm forward and our left arm back. And even though we're asymmetric, we are really planning on keeping these shoulders down and steady, so not wonky. So you can have up on your toes, or you can do them on your knees. So we'll start on your knees. If it's too easy, then you pop up to your toes. So we're gonna take this down and up. So we'll say, since we've already done push-ups, we'll just do 10 or say six. If you can do six, great. Just check out your shoulders and your belly button's pulled in. So this is about three more for 10. It's two, it's the owner system at home, right? And one, and then push yourself back up. Let's switch those arms on. Right hand, left hand in front, right hand behind you. Asymmetric, and take this down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Ooh, nine, don't know if you heard that, 10, and bring it back. Last one will be our tricep push-ups. So hands are gonna be right underneath your shoulders. You wanna think about coming forward. So it's a, and um, you don't have to come all the way down for this. Just listen to your body. I would like for you to come down to the point where it's gonna be a struggle to come back up. We're just gonna do six of these. So squeeze these elbows in, bring it down, press up. Think about coming forward first, and then down, and up, and down, and up. Sideways, keep going, sideways. You're gonna look like this. So you're gonna come forward and down. So we have three more to go. And this is two, and this is one. So push-up series is finished. We're gonna go into our ab series and finish it off with a little glute work. So onto your back 
come onto your elbows right here pull the belly button in right here and this is creating a C curve so I want you to lift your hips up just slightly place them back down so the hips are on this on the sacrum part reach your left hand around your thighs oh before you come down check to make sure your knees are about the same level as your shoulders hug this belly into your chest knit these ribs inside take your left hand back around your thigh your right hand back behind your thigh and just holding it here might be a challenge so just start here beginners are going to start just holding it here for eight seven six five four three two one beginners stay here more advanced take your arms up and let's take this up for eight seven six five four three two one hold it here beginners stay here advance turn those palms up and take it back down for eight seven six five four three two cross your arms over your chest roll up then articulate your spine one vertebrae at a time without letting your neck or your head touch see if you can do it without letting the tops of the shoulders touch and roll back up and slowly down so if you can see my spine it looks like a C not a great C but more of a curvature than flat so we're rolling up and rolling down 10 times. We have four more to go. Four. Three. If you need a little help, feel free to use your arms over your head and use a little momentum to come back up. It's always a modification you can do. Come all the way down right here. Bring your knees up. Your shoulder blades are still off the floor. Your hands are behind you. Pull and hug that belly in to your chest. Right here, we're just gonna take this up, 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 up. So you're taking this chest up. You wanna have like a space for a, maybe a small tomato or a orange to be between your chin and your chest. Right here, we're just gonna take this, tap the right foot down, tap the left foot down. So the biggest mistake I see when doing core work is we want to bring these knees in closer because it feels a little bit more like home to us, more like a fetal position, but we don't want that. You want to pick these knees no closer in than right over your hips and pressing the spine down into the floor. See if you could, it's almost like you're trying to make an imprint into a plaster cast. You're trying to imprint your spine, your lower spine into the floor as we tap down for four three, two, and one. And you can keep your foot top down as you extend this left leg. Beginners, I definitely want you to keep your knee down. Hands behind the head, and then you're gonna lift up. Seven, six, more advanced. You're gonna hover. Four, three, two, one. Now hold it here, clasp your hands behind, reach yourself up, and then pulse it up. So you're really trying to get a lot higher. Four, three, two, one. Bring your hands back behind your head and see if you can bring your right foot up. Tap this foot and you do a reverse crunch. And then we're gonna take this down slowly. Take it down, down, down. Now we're gonna put those together. Slowly take it up. Two, three, on four, tap this heel. Reverse crunch on five, six, take it down, down, down. So it's up one, two, three, tap four, roll five, down six, seven, eight. Bring it up one, two, three, tap four, reverse crunch, five, six, seven, eight. Good. One more time, super slow like that, just to make sure you're not using momentum. And now we can take it up to tempo for eight for seven, for six, five, four, three, hang in there, two, 
On one, we're gonna hold it all the way up and just reverse crunch for me. It's eight, seven. See, my hips are barely coming off the floor, about a half an inch. Three, two, and one. Let's switch it around. This right foot's gonna come in front. This lefty's gonna come back down. Beginners, you're gonna keep this knee down. Even when you tap up, we're just gonna keep that knee down like that. So reach it and pulse it eight, seven. Advance, extend this leg out. Five, four, three, two, and one. And I'm gonna scoot back just in case you can't see my foot. And then here we are, we're gonna reach up and crawl, crawl, crawl. Reach it up and take it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands come back behind that head. And we're gonna take this leg up slowly, touch this heel, do a reverse crunch, and then bring it down slowly. So we're gonna take it up, two, three, tap four, crunch five, down six, seven, eight. So it's up, two, three, tap four, reverse crunch five, six, down seven, down eight. Your head is not touching the floor and the backs of the shoulders are still off the floor. Last one, slow, four, reverse crunch five, down six, seven, eight. Now let's do eight singles, eight more of the tempo. This is seven, reverse crunch, lower down. So the modification is going to look like this. You're going to just keep tapping and bringing it down. Advance, looks like this. Last two, reverse crunch, Last one, and just reverse crunch here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the soles of the feet together. Take these knees out wide right here into a diamond. Bring the knees in to tap the elbows, then slowly bring them down, tap the floor, and bring them in, tap. Good. Bring them in, tap, down. Tap in and down. So we're doing eight, this is six. So wide diamond, seven, tap the toes down. It's eight, now little crunches here, just for 16 and we're finished. We've already done four, this is five, six, seven, eight. Try to tap those elbows. Five, four, three, two, and one, reverse, and take those feet down to the floor. Take your feet just hip distance apart, your arms out wide, let those knees come over to the right side, and you're gonna stretch out those abs. Maybe raise your arm over your head, inhale, exhale, and then bring it back. And then inhale, and then exhale. So, just real full disclosure here, if you are watching this and you're not one of my personal training clients, then you probably want to get off this channel because it means that I don't know how to set privacy settings. So this is just for my personal training clients. So you guys know who you are. Thanks for turning, tuning in. We'll be back to the gym soon. As soon as all of this flows over, fingers crossed, say a little prayer. It's quick. All right, so now we're going to finish off with some glutes and some hamstrings. Take your feet hip distance apart or a little bit wider or a little bit closer. So you just find whatever's more, po more comfortable posturally for your lower back. Bring your hips towards your heels and low all the way, lower all the way down. Press your heels into the floor and you raise your toes off. Just keep pressing, pressing like you're trying to make an indention into the floor. And then slowly raise these hips up. And again, I want you to marry these butt cheeks together right here. And then take it up and up. So a little bit more advanced will be with these feet glued together. A little bit easier are these feet apart. You can get a bigger range of motion. So if you want to concentrate on inner thighs, bring those feet together. If you want to concentrate just on those hamstrings alone, then 
of that hip distance will be perfect. So you choose, we're just still tuck, tucking. We're doing about 24 little tucks, kind of warming up. Now we're gonna take it up and hold it. We're gonna take this down all the way, tap the hips and then bring it back up. Tap the hips. Now, wherever your feet are, I want you to start to walk them in a little bit closer. Together, tap and press down. And just notice the difference in the muscles that you're using. Probably more inner thighs. Hold it up right here. We're gonna lift this left leg up, point your toe and take this up for eight, seven, six, five, four. Modification will be here and one. So we're gonna take this leg down 15 degrees, back up, down, back up, down, back up. Don't let your tailbone touch the floor. Another modification for beginners is you're gonna be here. Everybody else here, hold it right there and little lifts eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, lower back down, right leg comes back up. Make sure that heels into the floor, point your right toe, left heels flexed, take this up, 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 up. Your hands can be in scarecrow arms. They can be like here. Or if you need a little bit of extra press, it can be done here by your side. Hold it up, lower down 15 degrees, lift it up, down, lift, down, lift, down. Your modification, bent knee. It's three down, it's two, it's one. Hold it here and then back to lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly bring it back down. Bring your knees into your chest, give them a big hug and a big squeeze. So if you're advanced, I want you to do that set two more times. If you're a beginner, you're gonna just stretch out with me. So start first, start with just bringing the right knee into your chest, pull it in nice and tight, and then I want you to circle this knee around. Just scanning your body for any sticky spots. Reverse it. So how do those hips feel today? And then let's do a little hamstring stretch. Just extend this leg up, clasp your hands behind your leg, and then pull back. If you need a little bit more help with flexibility, if you have um, a belt or a scarf, you can use that to put it around your leg. Pull in, big inhale, exhale. Lower your shoulders to the floor. Inhale again. And this time on the exhale, take this right heel about three inches over your body to be right over your left hip. And you should feel a nice stretch in the IT band. And then you're going to open this leg all the way wide for an inner thigh stretch. All your weight presses back down on this hip. You can also bend this knee. You can also hold on to it and then bring it back. Let's do the other side. Extend this left leg up. You can also have this knee bent. It's all about you. By your, while you're doing these little stretches right here, you're scanning your body for what needs a little help, what needs a little bit extra TLC. Um, we'll do this hip rotation. Feels okay, no, not much uh, grinding, no, no popping, and then back up here, and big inhale, exhale, pull your leg a little bit closer in. So these stretches, I want you to feel challenged, but I don't want you to feel like your leg and thigh muscles are about to um, split in two. So really be mindful. You want to try to find that edge of where it is a little bit challenging, but you don't want to go over the edge. Bring it back, inhale, exhale, slide this heel over your hip, flex back on those toes. And if you don't feel this in your outside of your thigh, you might have your leg too close. So I really want you to start with this leg 90 degrees and then flex back, take it over, and then hold it. 
Reach around, inner thigh stretch, open this leg up. But make sure you rotate this hip back down. So everybody has variable flexibility. So just do what you can without being judgmental. And just appreciate the fact that your body can move. Take your hands um, to the outside of your feet while your arms are on the inside of your legs. And reach your left foot up, right foot up. But knees are 90 degrees. And this is a happy baby. Just stretch your shoulder blades down. Pull on your feet. Maybe rock left and right. Inhale, exhale. And bring the soles of the feet together. And you guys have a fantastic day. Take care. You're finished. Thanks for showing up. Just a little bird outside the window.